Hello, what's going on guys? Welcome to the Backstreet's YouTube channel. I'm of course your host, Kelvin Liu. This is a channel where we talk about bags, do bag reviews, give tips related to bags, and all that sort of good stuff. And today, we are looking at these three tiny little bags. But before that, as usual, let's roll that intro. So firstly, we are looking at this Anello two-way micro shoulder bag cross bottle reprieve. This is the newest addition to the Kujigane family. This is a pink color bag, obviously. This bag was launched around second quarter of 2020 and it is around um, $55. So let's check out the specs real quick. The material is polyester and it is made of water repellent material and weighs around 270 grams. The capacity is 3 liters and has 3 pockets in total. The length is 17 centimeters, height is 23 centimeters, and depth is 10 centimeters. The handle length is 22 centimeters and shoulder strap length is 70 centimeters to 126 centimeters. So next, we will look at the fog colored uh, Kankan sling. Uh, this bag was launched around third quarter of 2019 and it is around $85. This is literally the classic Kankan -can backpack scaled down to a small shoulder bag. For some of you who are following our channel, you definitely know that I have reviewed uh, the regular size Kankan -can before. And this one feels exactly the same as that one, but this is just a smaller uh, version. And yeah, it is, it is still pretty thin with no padding at all. And it doesn't come with seat pad. I mean, it totally makes sense, right? You know, this bag is still the same, you know, made from hard uh, wearing Vinylon F and I believe it's water repellent as well. Um, let's try them later. And just a side note, the touch is still pretty rough, but it still feels like they are really robust and you can abuse them and they are going to survive any abusive behavior but um, you don't have to do that right Aww. please be kind to these tiny little cute bags yeah it weighs around 190 grams and has four pockets in total the length or width is 15 centimeters height is 20 centimeters and depth of 8 centimeters you know, the official website uh, doesn't have details on the handle length and the strap length, but they seem to have uh, a similar length to the Anello ones. The handle of the Can Can is definitely uh, much longer. But as for the, the strap, it is pretty much the same. Yeah. Let's move on to another bag. This is Donut Macaron Tiny Reborn series. This is a uh, denim color. Uh, this bag was launched around fourth quarter of uh, 2018 and sits around $50. As you can tell, this is much smaller as compared to uh, the Kankin Sling and the Anello two-way micro shoulder bag. But this is really cute and, and feels like a toy for me. I don't know, but um, yeah. So why did they call this Reborn series? It is pretty obvious because they reformed their classic bags with the complete adoption of recycled ones as well. The Reprieve uh, polyester. And by the way, this is made of a uh, 400D Reprieve polyester. And this bag also water repellent. It has three pockets in total. The length or width is 11.5 centimeters. Height is 16 centimeters and depth of six centimeters. So next, I'm going to stuff something into it just to give you an idea how big these bags are. So firstly, the most important thing, the toilet roll. This toilet roll is 11.5 centimeters in length and 10 centimeters in height. And it is made of a- Bro, this is not a toilet roll unboxing video then. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I see. Okay, then um, let's skip the details of this uh, toilet roll. Let's start with the Anello one. Unbutton the top handle. Let's stuff this in. I would say uh, you have to force them in, definitely. And yeah, perfect. So the second one, the can can sling. Let's unbutton them. 
unzip them fully. Oh, you can just place them like that. You know, it is much easier to put in because you can almost fully open them. Yeah, nice. And next one, donut ones. Um, it's pretty obvious you're not able to fit in this toilet roll into uh, this tiny little bag. But I would say if you uh, mash them into pieces, you probably can. But uh, I doubt that if anyone uh, want to do that. I hope I wasted one minute of yours uh, by stuffing the toilet roll into the bag. I kind of enjoy that. Me, me. For donut ones, you can uh, put in hand sanitizer, a lip balm, some wallet, your mask, and uh, your passport. And yeah. And my phone as well. I'm using a Samsung uh, Note 10 Lite. This is 16 centimeters in height and 7.5 centimeters in length. Yep. They're able to fit in nicely. Zip them up. Button them up. Yeah. Yeah, it looks kind of cool. For the can can one, definitely you can stuff in more stuff. Beside all of this stuff, you can uh, put in a bigger notebook. Same goes to this one. You can fit in more stuff into it. Let's get all of this stuff out of the way and I want to try something special. There you go. This is a Christmas tree and it is 22 centimeters in height. Sometimes when you are at a cafe and you want to decorate your table a little bit, this is going to be really handy. Or if you want to attract some attention, this will work as well. Just take it out of the back and place it on the table and you're good to go. Let's try stuff them in. I know it is not Christmas yet, but because I love Christmas, so that's the reason why. Fit in nicely, but uh, whenever I fit in a 23 centimeter stuff, I'm not able to zip the back. So uh, please take note on that. Let's move on to the uh, can can sling. This one I kind of need to force them in, but yeah, I'm able to zip the back nicely. So for a donut one, definitely not able to fit in this Christmas tree. So for those who wanna bring Christmas tree out and attract some attention, I highly suggest you just get this bag. Please don't hate me, I'm just trying to spice up this bag comparison. <laughs> All right, next, let's do the water repellent test. Do you remember I did mention in a few of our previous video uh, that water repellent and water resistant are different? Let me now show you what water repellent does to the water when it hits the fabric. Yep, you can see it caused the water to turn into little bits instead of going through the material. So yeah, this is uh, what we call water repellent instead of water resistant. As you can see, uh, both of this anello and can, can is definitely bigger. Uh, the donut one is much smaller. But I would say, if you just go out for a while, you want to take your phone with you, you want to just bring some tissue, just some hand sanitizer, cut holder, you know, this bag is perfect because it is very cute. It is very minimal. But if you decided to bring more stuff, for example, if you want to fit in your makeup bag, I don't think you can fit it into the donut ones. So at the end of the day, it is all depends on how you are using them. I think three of these bags have their own pros and cons. All right, there you have it. I hope you find this video uh, about me fitting in all these nuts and stuffs helpful and entertaining. And thank you for staying until the end. Feel free to follow us on Instagram. If you're interested in buying any of these bags, see the links in the description below. So as usual, please gently smash that like button and subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so that you will be notified once we uploaded a new video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.